uh, Stony at McMahon again. Uh, we'll make another little video here, a uh, little troubleshooting on some, uh, again, calls I hear, emails I see, emails I get, um, people posting on Facebook groups and all the other stuff that uh, you can communicate your problems to, except for calling the manufacturer, apparently. So, uh, we'll talk some continuity today. Um, specifically, um, this, this will work for a single battery uh, setup. Uh, this one's a dual. Uh, it's nothing special about it. It's a simple dual setup. I don't run an isolator. I don't, the isolators have resistance in them. I don't like them. These are AGM batteries. They're 12 volt batteries. This is kind of cookie cutter, 12 volt battery, uh, big alternator, two battery setup. Um, so I can just kind of go over some things real quick. So I just want to talk about continuity to make sure you have everything being equal and I'll show. So we'll get the good old voltmeter here. Before testing, you always want to test your battery at the post. Um, this will give you where you're going. So here I've got 12, eight, 12, seven, 12, eight. Okay. No problem there. Let's try the other one. All right. 12, seven, 12, eight. So tells me my battery both batteries are okay both batteries are good and it kind of kills another stone real quick there uh, it tells me that I have good connectivity or conductivity between each battery so my wiring is good uh, there's no uh, deficiencies or anything in there there's the connections are solid um, my grounds are solid but uh, we'll go through some more stuff we'll take our positive and we'll hit our ground over here Ground. Okay, so ground from the alternator to the battery showing 12.9. That's pretty damn solid. Um, take that, go for positive, and then we'll go to where I have it grounded on the alternator or on the uh, uh, frame bolt down here. There we go, 12.9. It's hard to get on some of the threads right there, but this is really the hardest part. I'm just getting to it. So, yeah, you can see 12, eight, 12, nine. There's literally no drop in anything whatsoever. Uh, we'll test the other one over here. We'll go from the positive and uh, this ground is on the cylinder head right here uh, where the factory would go. Okay, 12.9, dead nuts, same as over there. That's what you want is consistency. I have over here, um, we have another ground over here. We'll try that, do our positive. And I have a ground up here. That one's at 12.9. This one's grounded to the body of the vehicle and it runs down to the same bolt that's over here. So everything is measuring identical. If you have anything that's really dropping a, you know, tenth uh two tenths uh of a volt um there it's not not necessarily bad but um there's room for improvement so just um just some quick continuity test on that um on a simple dual battery setup so uh just a quick way to test these these voltmeters are cheap um, they sell all kinds of them you can make them as expensive as you want to i have no clue when I got this one, but I just know that you put batteries in it. It's always worked and it's always been consistent. It's a voltmeter, so. Uh, all right, guys, other than that, see ya.